love and dedication that he had for our department in this city. And although he's gone, it's now our responsibility to make sure that he's never forgotten. And that's why we're here today. Beginning today, every time that Ladder 61 goes on an emergency call for service, it will be accompanied by the member of the Captain. There we go. Not that I can't scream over this whole crowd, but thanks to you two. All right, so the next part of the uh, ceremony here is we're gonna have uh, the chaplain, or as I finally call him, Mr. Padre, uh, come on out and he's gonna say some blessings for the station, the rig, and the group. And then I'll talk about the rest of the ceremony and get you guys in position. Thanks so much, Chief.
I pray that this truck can be as advanced and as ready as the men and the women that will respond in its seats. Father, accept this ladder truck, and may it be, and continue to serve this community and all of our residents, as well as the truck before it did. Grant grace to the firefighters, medics, and captains who will drive and operate this new truck and protect them from harm. Return them safely at the end of their shifts to the families that they love. We commission this truck to you and ask for your strength to be with us now as we come together to usher this truck into its station, hand it over to its crews, and send it in service for our great city. Father, it is in your name that we get to pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. So when pushing back an engine or a wagon or a pump wagon or rig back into the station, even back in the wagon days, they, we didn't always have drive-through stations. So when the rig came back, you had to push it in. A lot of horses and depending on the size of the wagon, couldn't back that wagon in. So the uh, town members, the firefighters, they all get together and they would push that rig back in. And that was after every call, not just ceremonies like today. So it has a lot of symbolic reason. When we get in position, we're gonna go ahead and put the young ones in the back. We go ahead and start moving family ones that wanna be in the back. Uh, true. Go ahead and grab the helmet. Go ahead and get them in your truck. After we push this in successfully, we'll all hit the brake when we get into the back uh, where it's gonna be positioned in the bay. After that, there's a couple more things that are going to happen. The chief will call the county and put this rig, retire the old rig and computer numbers for that rig, and put the new engine, ladder 61, truck number, in service for the county. This does a couple of things. Not only does it actually put it in service, but for us, it tells the whole county what we have because we're proud of it. Then it also gives a timestamp. That timestamp goes and saved in the radio laws of when this engine went in and it's part of our history, which is also very important. So once we push the engine back, we'll get everybody uh, over to the driver's side of the engine and then we'll go ahead and do the radio traffic. The final process of putting a truck in service is the bell. Bells are used back in the fire days. That's how they would call the firemen uh, to a call. Uh, they would ring the bell on the way to the call. There's a certain number of bells in sequence for each ceremony, retirement, funerals, everything had to do with the bell. So at the end of this, we'll do three single strikes to be handled by the honor guard, and that will be the final moment the truck will be in service. So we go ahead and uh, we got everybody inside. Now the other thing, who's my... Uh, Hello guys, who's going to be my backers? Somebody raise your hand. Somebody in a white shirt. Okay. All right. I need two of you guys on each side of uh, on the rear of the truck. And I want to make sure that nobody's behind the rig. Uniforms that are on each side of the truck will keep everybody away from these fires. This is very unforgiving. And then everybody else can grab the front of the bumper. Of course, I want the big muscle heads up there first. Get everybody on that bumper. You can grab rails and push on the side of the truck, push on each other. And we're gonna push this truck all the way in, being careful uh, not to get near the tires. Okay? So if everybody could go ahead and move into position, pick a piece of truck, this is a bumper, and the side of the rig. If you're not pushing, then you have your hand on the bumper. Other biggest guys on the bumper. Now, even if you have to push on somebody else's back, you get in here, you guys too. You guys can be a part of it. Big guys on the bumpers, big guys on the side of the truck.
If I could have, if I could have a uniform by each tire, I want to make sure that the tires are clear. So make a little space. I need a uniform. Captain side ready? Guys, I don't want you just putting your hand on this truck. I need you to grab something that's going to make it move. All right, the moment of truth. We're going to see if this thing's actually going to move under human power. We're not giving up. What's the weight of your vehicle? Driver. Is it in the door? What's the weight of that vehicle? We'll say it when we get inside. That's right. It's attitude. All right, so air brake is on. Covering the brake. Lights are on. We're going to give this some momentum. Everybody watch clear of the back of the truck because we're going to, we can't stop the, uh, the one inch uh, entry lift. Okay, is everybody ready? I need you to start getting to the spot. It's going to get serious here. All right, driver. All right, everybody, start pushing. Get this thing a push, push. Push, push, push. Watch the doors now, watch the wheels. Also, tradition is for you guys. Okay, so that was just an example like I spoke of. Talented people pushing one direction with one point of focus just pushed in this rig. A lot of people that don't think you can be able to move that kind of stuff. But when we have our, our family, our fire family, and our city family all pushing in one direction, we can get amazing things done. This is just a small example of it. Okay, take that home with you. Now the next step here is we're gonna go ahead and call the dispatch. So anybody with the radio, after the cat, after the chief calls dispatch, everybody else have radios down until he makes the call. And when dispatch comes back, go ahead and turn up your radio so we can hear the dispatch. Chief? Hello. Um. Be by the ladder six one rig number one zero two one eight four is hereby retired from frontline service and placed in reserve status. Please show Palmage Gardens Fire Rescue new C grade one hundred foot ladder company rig number one zero five one zero seven in service as ladder sixty one. Beach Guardian 100 foot Seagrave Ladder Company is marked in service and has assumed the designation of Ladder 61 at 941 hours. Alright, so now the whole county knows that we got a new ladder truck, which I love. I love that pride. We all hammer on each other, but uh, it's all out of love. And it also timestamps this rig for winning, winning service. So this will be timestamped in history from now on. The final thing we're going to do right now is go ahead and put this in service with the bells. So I'm going to have Honor Guard get in place. Honor Guard, on your mark.
That makes it official right there. Everyone, all of this takes time. You took time out of your morning, out of your day to come out here. Everybody I know has things to do. It's easy to do nothing when something like this happens. When we get a brand new truck, which is impressive. When the city saves budgets and plans and we get this kind of rig. Uh, the people that are on it. All this has got to matter. So if we don't take the time to show that it matters like you incredible people did today, it would just go quietly on the wayside. We can't have that. we got to take the moment and enjoy these moments like this. So you guys coming out punctuates exactly everything we're talking about, about family and tradition. I want to thank everybody for coming out. This concludes the ceremony. We do have some snacks and uh, beverages on the... What do we call that? The Delta Wall over there? Uh, so please uh, partake, and I really want to thank everybody for coming out. We'll be having new engines coming in service, and I expect every one of you to show back up the next engine. Thank you very much. The so one his family will be the first ring of his bell. Now this truck is an official family member.